Okay, welcome to What Material Makes the Best Insulator. Um, not here to give you too much background or, or, or other kind of information like that. I really just kind of want to show you the procedure and explain a little bit about the data table in the graph. Um, basically what I got here, a couple rubber bands, some tape. This is to secure the insulation. Um, a glass jar which uh, will wrap the insulation around. I uh, got some hot water because I'm going to see how uh, how the insulation keeps the heat in. And uh, we've got a timer, we've got a thermometer, uh, we've got a data table, and we have a, uh, a sample of a graph that, that you can use as a reference. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap and insulate my glass with some foam. It's very simple foam insulation. Notice that I got the, uh, the gloves on. Not for the foam so much, but there is some fiberglass I'm giving you. Um, it's never bothered me, but it does bother some people, so I gave you some plastic gloves because uh, why not? All right, now uh, the timer, as soon as, as soon as I take a temperature reading, I'm going to start the timer, put the thermometer in here, pour the hot water in, I'm going to get it quite a ways up, and I'm going to take a temperature reading. It should be about 60 degrees centigrade. Absolutely, and my timer's going. Now the first time I'm going to look at it is in one minute. And after that, I'm going to go in three minute increments, three, six, nine, 12. Now my data table uh, has room for four materials. Um, the example that I gave you is, is Sorry about that. That's my life. Um, yeah, I have fiberglass and foam written down. Um, you might use an old cotton t-shirt, cut it up and make an insulator out of that if you'd like. Call it cotton. Um, you need to record your starting temperature. I would have done that and I would have written 60 degrees centigrade. In about 12 seconds I'll take a reading and that will go under one minute. Then I will go in three minute increments or intervals uh, to take my readings. Now every time, and let me get a reading here in one minute, uh, didn't really change and I didn't really expect it to. But when we start hitting 3, 6, 9, 12, it, it should start going down. Um, the, uh, the graph is, uh, it's, it's not, it looks, it probably looks tricky, it really isn't. It's a three line graph, one line for each material. Uh, now, I, I do this with a colored pencil or something, uh, you know, so that the key would be very clear and, you know, it would be easy to understand what material is what color. I couldn't really do that here because I'm reproducing these, so I just did it using symbols. And um, every time uh, you know, I, I write down a temperature, that's what's going to make its way to my graph. So for instance, material one started out at whatever degrees, in this case 60. Um, this, uh, this graph is actually for something that's getting colder, um, or it's a cold liquid rather getting warmer. Uh, because of the direction that it's going. If in this case, my graph would actually be going uh, down and to the right because I have a warm liquid getting colder. But um, here you can see at the, at the intervals, I have the temperatures and then they're connected uh, you know, with, with a, a straight edge and a straight line. But uh, anyway, the graph really is, is not as complicated as it might look. Um, in just a moment, I'll be taking another reading and if we fast forward to that, uh, pretend that the time is up and it has gone down a little bit. I'm going to mark that under three minutes and I'm going to keep going three, six, nine, twelve and so on. Um, and uh, that's that's pretty much about it. Uh, it's it's not terribly complicated. The procedure is very simple. Do the same thing for each material. Do it the exact same way and uh, it, it make sure that your, your starting temperatures are uh, as close as you can get them to one another and uh, a coffee pot and a coffee maker typically will give you um, each time you run some water through it will give you pretty close to the same temperature every time. Uh, good luck, have fun, thanks.